Hey guys, we are doing another video. Today I'm pretty excited because we are starting a new series. And if you guys don't like reading, exit out of the video right now. Because it is a reading series. I'm going to read some books to you guys. And there's going to be, if the books aren't too long, I'm going to read two books to you guys. So today I'm, and but if they're chapter books, then I'm only going to read one chapter of each book. And I have two picture books so we're reading Dexter, Be Bexley, and the Big Blue Beastie on the Road. So this one, we're, probably, we're going to read that one first. And then we have Queen Victoria's Bathing Machine. Ba bathing Machine. And I did not pick out these books. And then in our next video, our next reading video, we have three chapter books. And but we're and then in our video after that. We're only going to be reading one book. So, and so in the next one, we're reading Rainbow Magic books. We're, the first one we're going to read in our next video is going to be Sky the Blue Fairy. We're going to read one chapter of that and one chapter of Gemma Gymnastics Fairy. So, and in our other one, we, um, we are going to read one chapter of Dora Phantasmagory. So let's get started on the video. So first we're going to read Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie on the road. And I'm going to show you, if there's a picture, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to read it and then show you the, um, pictures. You can look at the, 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 look at this. Let me just put this lower. So you won't be able to see my face. I'm going to read it and then if there's a picture, I'm going to turn it around. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie on the Road. Dexter, uh, actually, I'm gonna do this so you guys can hear me better. Dexter Bexley and the and the Big Blue Beastie hooted and hooted until quiet up there. Someone yelled. It doesn't actually say someone yelled. I just said that because I don't think you guys would know that it says that until. I can't be quiet, said Dexter Bexley. I'm not sleepy, and there's so much hooting to do, said the big blue beastie. So they hooted and hooted until... They were thrown out of town. Get out and stay out. Dexter Bexley and the big blue beastie in the deep, dark forest. Hooted, hooted, and hooted. You're just what I need, said the tremendously charming Sir Percy Peckett. Come with me to yonder a yonder high tower. And yonder high tower gently sleeps my beloved. I don't get this book at all, but I'm still going to read it to you because you guys might get it. Or snore, 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 snore. Do you want me to eat her up? said the big blue beastie. No, I want you to wake her up, said the trim and dustly charming Sir Percy Peckett. I've been trying since Tuesday. I sang her a song, and she's been asleep ever since. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie hooted and hooted. Now, I get this part. It's like there's a princess and they're trying to like wake her up. And hooted. What lovely hooting, said Princess Filipina. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina all hooted. Until it's time for our what is it time for our wedding yet? asked the trim ghostly charming Sir Percy Peckett. Have you slain that frightful dragon? asked Princess Filipina. Well no, I've been 
I've been a bit busy. You're not busy, said Dexter Bexley. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina went to slay the frightful dragon. Visitors, how lovely. But the frightful dragon wasn't really frightful after all. So Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Pr Princess Filipina taught him how to tap dance. <laughs> The frightful dragon had talent. You're a natural, said the big blue beastie. Dexter Bexley and the big blue beastie and Princess Filipina and the frightful dragon became more wandering players. They were a hit. You're a natural, said the king and the queen and all the kings and queens advertisers. Advertisers. Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie and Princess Filipina and the Frightful Dragon wandered and played and sang and told tall tales from one end of the kingdom to the other. Try to put it closer. Then they wandered and played and sang and told tall tales all the all the way back. My hat is as is it my hat it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. Okay. Until they stood at the frightful dragon's front door. I can't seem to stop hooting, said Dexter Bexley. Me neither, said the big blue beastie. I can't stop tapping, said the frightful dragon. Ah, well, I can't stop singing. Well, I can't stop singing, said Princess Filipina. And, we'll, and we've been doing the same song for days. Luckily, the tremendously charming Sir Princey Peckett arrived and sang the song he'd sung for Princess Filipina on Tuesday. rock a -bye, baby, on a treetop. It was beautiful lullaby. Dexter Bexley, the Big Blue Beastie, and Princess Filipina and Frightful Dragon stopped to listen. Then they yawned and stretched and... Let me show you the picture. And... Fell wonderfully silently asleep. Ooh. Wait, it says... Phew! Until... Store, 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 quiet over there. So that was Dexter Bexley and the Big Blue Beastie on the Road. Now we are going to read Queen Victoria's Bathing Machine. I'm going to read it like this this time and then turn the picture. Oh. Queen Victoria looked out at the sea. It was blue. It was cool. It was nice as could be. It was it was nice as could be. The day was so hot. The sun was so bright. Her pe pet petticoats itched. I don't know what that is. And her corset was tight. She whispered a wish. It was only a whim. How great it would be to go for a swim. Her lady, her lady in waiting, collapsed on the floor. I've never heard no, such nonsense before. Nonsense before. Impossible! She cried. It would be a di disgrace to see more than the queen had her hands on her face. How would she get from the beach to the water without showing more of herself than she had to? The queen sighed a sigh. I'll give up the. No Notion, I think. I'll never be allowed to enter the ocean, for how can I swim if I wear all my clothes? 
My petticoats and dress, my shoes and my hose, they get, they get drippy and slushy and soggy and sodded and down I would sink right to the bottom. My dear, said Prince Albert, if it is your wish to dabble and splatter and swim like a fish, there, there must be a way to transport you with ease. While keeping the populace from glimpsing your knees, I'll give all my genius and, my, and all my attention to devise and device to invent an invention. Albert was Albert was learned. Albert was bright. Albert was nearly always right. He'd been everywhere from Denmark to Munich. Mun, he studied old wars, both Sar, Sartan and Punic. Punic, Punic. His knowledge of battles was no was. No one could fall. He he'd read dozens of books on the Capazette. Let's see this see. I it hurled heavy rocks into the air, chuckling them easily from the here to there. Victoria, dear, it might be romantic to be launched from your window into the Atlantic, moving so quickly you never would show as much as a peak of your royal toe. But Albert the English, you know how they shoot, parotage and pleasants measure the coot, mergensers and coot, when... <clears throat> Whatever is up in the air, they bring down and roast it and toast it to a crispy brown to have for their breakfast, to have with their tea. I'm sure you don't wish that it happened to me. Just after midnight, Albert sprang from the bed. A brilliant idea had come to his head. Wake up, dear Victoria. Your worries are over. You can swim all the way from or Orsburn to Dover. They wa they waltzed and mazurked. They danced a polka or two, then collapsed in their bed with their nightcaps and uh, axe First thing in the morning, Albert got busy. His imperial, imperial demands made everyone dizzy. I must have some wood quick. Cut down a tree, dig up some stones, and send them to me. Get me a will, will right? Get me a mason. Victoria's splashing shan't be confined to a basin. Albert sawed lumber, he pounded some nails, he ordered four wheels, he laid down stone rails. He constructed, he constructed a room with nary a frown, he fashioned a porch with steps to climb down. All when all was completed, it was fit for a queen. Victoria, I've made you a bathing machine. Let me tell you, my dear, what I propose. You enter the back door wearing all of your clothes. Off comes your dress, off comes your rings, off comes all those... Um, men, 
tenable things. You put on your suit as quick as can be, and the bathing, the ba bathing machine will roll into the sea. Once out, once out on the porch, the curtain will hide you while your lady in waiting hovers beside you. You climb down the steps in perfect repose to enter the ocean right up to your nose. No one will get so much as a peep except for the creatures down in the deep. You're a genius, dear, dear Albert. I am. I'm truly excited. We'll have all the workmen felted and knighted. She entered the bathing machine by the door. Off came her corset, ten pet petticoats, and more. <coughs> <coughs> the windows were shuttered from prying spies, and her lady in waiting covered her eyes. Goodbye, goodbye to the land, goodbye to the turf. Victoria rode the waves and dove into the surf. Dog, dog paddle, butterfly, side stroking crawl. The buoyant Victoria attempted them all. She plunged and she pitched. She rolled and then she wallowed. With the water all around her, some of it swallowed. Two sailors on a frigate were having a tiff. One said a flatboat. One said a s skiff. It might be a schooner, and it host and it has hosted a snail. If it gets closer, we'll give it a hail. It's taking the shape of a soup tureen, belay and advast. I believe it's our queen. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like I'm gonna hold it like this now. This one has no words. Victoria, unaware of her subject's surprise, carried on with her watery exercise. Tuna and turtles and salmon and flounder tuna wait, tickled her toes and swam all around her. With a splash and a skater and a final rinse, the grateful Victoria returned to her prince. finish that one so please subscribe and if you want me to do a different book i am you can put it down in the comments please subscribe and like the video and bye guys see you in the next video